8 to 10070 on Branch Oak Road on a stabbing. The stabbing uh, individual was Haley Gaston. She was attempting to steal a vehicle from a 69 year old male. He uh, went to the hospital and is in surgery right now. Do you guys have any questions for me? So how did that confrontation happen then? She was trying to steal a car and he did not want her to be able to do that. So they started fighting at that point in time. And then she got stabbed twice in the left arm and twice in the abdomen. Uh, one of them in the abdomen is very deep, and we are concerned. Why is that? Um, I don't know if it's that yet. They have to get into there. The surgery determined it at that point in time. Was she already on the property at the time, or did she sneak on and then he got Her car was parked on the road at that point, and she'd been roaming around. She was barefooted. Um, but again, she uh, went into several semis. This is kind of a larger cattle operation. And uh, she'd been there a while, we had her on video. Uh, for a while we were concerned there was somebody else, but we did determine that there is not, and there is no more threat to the public out there. So this wasn't at a private residence or where was it? Yes, it is kind of a residence. It's kind of like a farm residence, but it's a cattle lot also on the property, and he is an employee out there. Do we know how she got from Omaha to this cattle ranch? She drove. Her car was there. Um, we have searched it. There is some drugs and some alcohol in the vehicle. The knife is approximately this long. So um, when deputies arrived, he was still fighting with her. He had the knife and had her off to the side and uh, took her into custody at that point in time. So it was a pretty intense uh, ordeal for a while. Did she know him at all? No. And we do not have much contact with her, but she is out of Omaha. So was he the one that called you guys, or were you guys already in the area nearby? Just he called. He was in the middle of the fight when he called 911, and he said he had to hang up because um, he was fighting with her. Did she appear to be somewhat under the influence of anything? Um, the deputies that were out there did not uh, describe her as being under the influence of anything at that point in time. They did not say she was um, in a mental crisis or anything like that. Did you guys recover a knife? We did. And there's, uh, as you can imagine, a lot of blood on the, at the scene on some of the semis and things of that nature. Uh, we are at the residence and we're gonna probably be there for a little while. So no indication why she picked that? We have no idea. Area. At this point, I, it's, at, at this point, it kind of seems like it was random. We're going to investigate it, as you can guess. Uh, she did not talk, so we have not been able to get any information of how she chose that area. But we don't have any information that would say she had any reason to be out there whatsoever. So he doesn't live there, he just works there. Correct. Okay. He, uh, he arrived and uh, was going to warm up his semi. And when he got out, she was trying to steal his car, and that's when the fight began. Is he from the area, or do you know where he's from? He is from the area. Um, I do not know if the fam family's been identified or been notified of everything, so I do not want to release his name, but he is a 69 year old male. And can you say what where his hometown is? is it, it is in here in the Lincoln Lancaster area. That's all I got, unless you got any more questions. Thanks, Everybody's ben. got a busy uh, news day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.